Hi, welcome back to Cedar Porch Homestead. I'm JR. Today we're building a mobile rabbit tractor so that we can move our baby bunnies out on grass to finish them out because they are a meat source here on our backyard homestead. Uh, but one thing that I do exceptionally well is procrastinate. And I did that with these baby bunnies because I thought I was gonna have more time than I did they were gonna stay on mama for six weeks before we weaned them. I was gonna move them to the adjacent pen for a week. And guess what? They've been in that pen now for three weeks and I've gotta get them out on pasture or at least on grass right now. So today we're building this mobile rabbit tractor. So stick around. Well, welcome inside the shop where we are going to try to build this rabbit tractor using some materials that we already have laying around the shop without having to go to the store and really drop a lot of money on this rabbit tractor. So I have some treated two by material that we're going to cut up and use for the framework. And I have some ideas of how this is going to come together, but I don't have a written plan. I don't have a blueprint for this. I'm going to be building it off the cuff. So you're enjoying this build as much as I am doing it, I hope. And we're all experiencing it for the first time together. So let's get it done so I can get those rabbits out of those tight quarters and onto something a little bit more spacious along with their availability for that fresh garden salad every day. So let's get to it. Let's take a quick break because I've got the skeleton of the mobile rabbit hutch all lined up and let me show you some of the features that I think are kind of cool about our design. So the first thing is this big area here is going to be where they're going to have fresh grass every single day that we're going to move them to a new spot. 
But then, because it is winter time and we want to protect them from the elements, I've got this raised platform here that's going to be enclosed. And that is going to be a, where, a place that they can get out of the weather, get out of the rain, get out of the cold. Nice, dry, warm spot. But we still have this mesh on the bottom. So all those little nuggets of fertilizer can go right through to the ground and continue building up our yard for pretty grass. Rather than just getting this thing finished up out on the grass so those little bunnies can get their fresh salad bar every day, Courtney's out in here to stop me, so I am going above and beyond. Kind of what I normally do on any of these projects is we go above and beyond. We put a little extra. We make it a little bougie. Whatever you want to call it, we are going to take this little mobile rabbit hutch to the next level. Now, my youngest daughter said that she thinks that our bunnies deserve a castle. So we're going to give them a castle. Okay, so day two, and I brought my foreman out to supervise. It is her vision to make this into a castle. So to make sure her vision comes to fruition, brought her out here to supervise me. So as long as I've got some adult supervision in the form of my right-hand man right here, we're going to get this thing done and painted and maybe even some rabbits out on the grass today. Ready? Yep. Let's get to it. We had to stop yesterday because we kind of ran out of time, but it worked out really good because we had to let our paint dry for our castle. And now this is Ashlyn's big idea. This is her doing. So what do you think? Ooh. How cute is that? We need wood glue. It's over there. It's fine. Everything's fine. That looks awesome. There's your castle. All right. Bring the uh, side.
That's hilarious. It's awesome. That's hilarious. What are you doing now? Uh, well, we got all the components uh, lined up. So now what we need to do is get it all assembled and see if we need to add some more cross bracing. Cause I think we're going to have to add a cross brace on the top, but we're going to find out. It rolls. <laughs> Did I? Sure did. Sorry. Goodness. Okay. These ain't gonna work. Look at the hat. Look at the hat. It's awesome. <laughs> and that stiffened it up a lot too.
Time to paint. You ready to paint it? It's moving day. Let's get to it. Okay, then. Nope. But they're okay. <laughs> so finishing off, we have our hut for them. And it has the wheels so you can move it. It has like a castle cut out on all the sides. Um, and then the lid lifts up. And so there's the inside. And we didn't really like the look of the original metal. So we decided to just paint it. Um, and with the big compartment, there is the, <laughs> there's the food hay and then their water um on the bottom of their pen they have cattle fence and that just prevents them from digging their way out and that one's digging to get the grass up and then the lid is the same as that one painted and it lifts up and down and then you have the handle so you can pull it and then over here this is their water you have the uh, nipples for them and then it goes up and it hoses and then you have this thing that's full of water thank you for watching Thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, I think Ashlyn's idea of a castle for our bunnies worked out really well. Tell us what you think in the comments below. If you hadn't had a chance yet to subscribe, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell for notifications. We like to come out with videos about once a week, so stay notified when those come out, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks so much.